very good afternoon to all colleagues, honorable guests, and ladies and gentlemen. You all are warm, warmly welcome to the uh, today's panel discussion on new uh, guidelines, 2018 guidelines, uh, and its implication on the uh, management, clinical practice of diabetes mellitus. I'm really uh, pleased to see quite a huge number of uh, audience, which include not only the usual phases of uh, family practitioners and junior colleagues, but also all the senior colleagues, all our teachers, all our colleagues, uh, also uh, all your presence here really creates the occasion. And I'm really pleased to be, uh, I'm really privileged to be uh, able to uh, give a welcome uh, speech. Um, the, as the name suggests, we're going to discuss on the uh, new guidelines. Guidelines mean uh, we're going to emphasize on 2018 ADA guideline and also some hypertensive guideline and some lipids guideline. And how are we going to apply these back into the clinical practice? This is our main aim. And actually the objective of the main objective of the panel discussion is uh, for the practicing physician, general practitioners, family practitioners, to highlight the salient point. What are the standards recommended by the professional associations like uh, American Diabetes Associations and other associations? And what are the standards really practiced in other, uh, other countries? So that we can also raise our standard by following these guidelines, we can also raise our standard as well in this country. So this is the main aim, and the audience we aim mainly for the uh, family practitioner. However, I now recognize that I, I've now seen that all the uh, uh, senior colleagues <laughs> Uh, guidelines is meant for the improvement of the population health. However, uh, by, uh, to improve the population health, we need to have, we need to practice the standards procedures in each and individual. This is the guideline to a sense that you will be A guideline with general DNA, guideline in the part of the general particular point in general biobama. And we have set a few questions which are usually asked to me uh, by uh, family practitioners and some doctors because I've been going all over the country uh, giving a CME to, uh, to most of the GPs and these questions are from their, the, the, the usually asked question from the audience uh, all over the country. Question sets you look over there. We are going to have, <laughs> along with me, I'm really honored to have Professor Tandai to co chair with the session. And we are going to have five speakers. Five speakers are General Fast, General <coughs> Professor Koko. Professor Koko, as you all know, is the <coughs> eminent and one of the leading endocrinologist of this country, and currently he has the responsibility of, uh, of head of the department of the Diabetes and Endocrine Department of University of Medicine too. And he's also the program manager for the prevention of diabetes, which is a collaborative program between the Ministry of Health and Sports, Myanmar, and, and the Hawala organization. And second moderator, uh, we Professor uh, Lieutenant Garnet Tengijo, who is the head of the Department of Endocrine Department from the uh, DSMA, Defense Medical Service Academy. And third person is Professor Muin Ao. Professor Muin Ao is also a consultant endocrinologist from the University of Medicine One. And the fourth speaker is from Professor, uh, Associate Professor Ute Mie, who is a consultant physician from uh, West Rangoon General Hospital. 
Last but not the least, speaker, uh, will be uh, Professor, Associate Professor Dr. Jamie, who is also from University of Medicine Two, Medicine One, uh, Endocrine and Department, Endocrine and Metabolism, Endocrine and Endocrine and Diabetes Department. So, uh, General, we're going to start without wait, without having much ado. We're going to start uh, <coughs> the academic section. So, to start the section, uh, I'm really pleased to welcome Professor Tandai to join with me on the stage to work as a, a co-chairperson or moderator. And before we start the ball rolling, Ma, uh, would you like to uh, say a few words of welcome speech to the audience? Good afternoon, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen and all my colleagues. I'm very pleased and honored to be uh, co-chair in uh, this symposium, uh, symp not, uh, so new guidelines, uh, this panel discussion today. And uh, today... Um, uh, new guidelines, implications in clinical practice. I'm really happy to be here as uh, the, for the update and gain the knowledge of the, um, the, our colleagues regarding the diabetes management. As you all know, the diabetes, uh, regard, all aspects of the diabetes regarding the pathophysiology, pathogenesis, and um, uh, new drugs, drugs and practice, and the uh, principle of, of the pathophysiology of the complications, all are uh, still very puzzles, both type 1 and type 2. And so there are many new changes developed all the time. So even uh, myself and our, uh, our endocrinologists need to improve ourselves what's uh, going on in the new uh, development and new changes especially in the diabetes uh, practical management. So uh, I would like, I'm very pleased that uh, we, I, we can also learn together with my audience uh, what, is the, what are the changing trends and what are the changing practice all over the world, especially the, the guideline we base, uh, the apply is the ADA guideline, which is the well-known and the, is a worldwide uh, uh, diabetes guideline for all, all of the uh, endocrinologist. Uh, so um, um, I would like to welcome all of you, and I hope you enjoy and you can learn from the, this panel discussion. So thank you very much. Seafirm, caring for well-being.